Coming right up, we have a new and unique event. For the first time ever, EX bikes are being let loose on a motocross track here in Imola. So now let's take a look at the rules and regulations. There are two classes. EXBGP is for bikes equipped with an electric motor rated with a continuous power output of over 250 watts and whose assistance can exceed 25 km per hour but not 45 km per hour. The smaller EXB2 class is for bikes with a continuous power output limited to 250 watts and whose assistance does not exceed 25 km per hour. The entry age for riders is limited to those with a maximum age of 55, but no younger than 14. Wearing a helmet with a chin strap is mandatory. The helmet itself must adhere to the FIM X-Bike World Cup regulations, as must all other items of protective equipment. There will be a single unique combined race for all classes. The race will be 25 minutes plus one lap in duration. Final champions will be divided by class and gender. Separate classifications for men and women should result in a total of four winners. The power of the, the battery is 500 watt. On the normal street we can ride this bike uh, on the street and everywhere. Big handbar for do the big jumps on the track and uh, we have front suspension and back suspension and the wheels about 27 and a half uh, of diameter. The weekend is nice, the sun is shining so for sure will be a nice weekend, a nice challenge on the track. Riders made their way to the line for the first ever FIM EX Bike World Cup. Into the first corner, it was Mark Schuh of Germany on the Rocky Mountain machine that led the way as everyone else tried to get to grips with the circuit here in Imola. But it wasn't long before we had a new leader, the number 12 of Anze Svetek from Slovenia on a Quilbix. His machine simply outpowered everything else out there. Trying to get to grips with the rugged terrain after the qualifying races here in MX2 and MXGP. Riders started to establish themselves. Nicky Mack in the EXB2W category led the way in that women's class and was on course for a gold medal. Riders like Davide Guarnieri and Marco Melandri were also guest riding, so too Todd Kellett, who normally rides in the European 250 two-stroke championship presented by FMF Racing. Some riders though, found the going tough. But Marco Melandri did his best, so too did the number 31 there of Caroline Duchenne. She would eventually come home victorious in the other of the women's categories in EX BGPW. But this guy here showed everybody the way round, and that was Anse Svetek of Slovenia. Four different categories, four different winners. This is how close it was between Guarnieri, who came home second, and Mattia Folki, who came home third. One tenth in it as they crossed the line. Nicky Mack was victorious in the EXP2W category. Yeah, it was super hard. Uh, at the first half lap, I had no support from the, the engine or the, the bike, so it was just pure pedaling, but I'm happy we got it working in the end, and it was tough, but I'm happy I finished it. It was, it was a really cool experience. In the EXB2 category, Roberto Fabri was victorious on his BMC from Davide Guarnieri and Mattia Folki. A very good race and very difficult. Uh, not very up, uh, and 
very beautiful day. Caroline Deschain of France won EX BGPW on the Giant. No, the start was uh, hard because it's uh, it's not um, usually, and uh, and the race was hard. 25 minutes. It was hard. And EXBGP was won by Anze Svetek with Mark Shu and Gianni Meschini running out the top three. It wasn't easy. We don't have a lot of time to prepare. We have like three training on this bike, so we didn't know what to expect. But I must say huge thanks to Kulbix who prepared that, this bike. It's amazing. And I still don't know what happened. <laughs> It's amazing, really. Uh, the, the track was a little bit tough. Uh, there are some deep ruts from the bikes, uh, and yeah, I made it. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. So that was the first ever EX Bike World Cup race and it most certainly kept me entertained and I think was a huge success. You can keep up to date with all the latest EX Bike news on our social media platforms and until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>